Welcome back to HRS. It's Beers to You Week on HRS, and what better way to enjoy a beer than in your own backyard? But when you're looking at your outdoor space, how do you take it to the next level? You may want to consider outdoor lighting and what it can do. This segment is sponsored by Easton Outdoors. Micah Miller is a managing member, and he joins us now to help make your great outdoors lighting choices and everything else. And what a great way to enjoy a nice cold beer. Beers to you yeah. with your nice, beautiful outdoor water feature. That's right. With lighting. I and, mean, that's... And it's almost cold enough where you can actually put the beers in the water feature, and it will like, keep them cold. It's coming. <laughs> It is coming, um, but you want to be able to see that beer as well. That's right. So here's the thing: that lighting feature is is one thing during the day, but it's even more special at night. Right, and we're getting ready to go through daylight savings time, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it's going to get dark soon. Yeah. So what I often see is like I come into a space, and if it's not lit up at night, what's the draw? What's going to take you out there? What's going to make you want to be outside enjoying the space? You know. A lot of people are doing like the cafe lights, right? Which are nice because yep. they kind of create that ambiance. But I like that low level. That's right. But sometimes Light you want it to like, come up, up. Yeah. And so, like, especially in like a water feature. Yep. You know how a candle flickers? So when water rushes over yeah. a light, shimmers. it has like that shimmery flick. And then, especially if you put like a tree over top of it, it kind of right. like flickers into the tree. Get kind of spooky. Well, I guess. It sure. could be kind of spooky. Well, because you can change the light. Um, but the good thing about what you do at uh, Easton Outdoors is this low voltage. That's right. Which, tell, explain that because that's yeah. kind of critical. Yeah, so a lot of times people think of uh, lights outside as these, you know, 120, kind of like what you've got inside. These are actually 12 volt lights, they're, they're low voltage. And so a system might have as much as 15 or 20 lights in it, is typically only using an amp or two of electricity, which is what's a cell phone is charging at like 2.1 amps. Right. So they're not using very much electricity for these lights to be on. Do they set them on a timer? How do you do that? Yeah, so it it's all controlled from mm. this. Everything, so you set right? a schedule on there. It's mm. Wi-Fi controlled. You don't have to be connected to your, right. your house, your Wi-Fi at your house. Right. You can just control them right from an app, set a schedule. You can make it astronomical if you want. Right. Really, really easy to control. You have that outdoor kitchen out there with the outdoor refrigerator, which That's open right. up that cold beer. It's lit at night. It's lit. It's, it's all ready for you. That's it's right. perfect. So uh, uh, we, we know that you, you can do just about anything and work with any budget. Is adding lights that very expensive? It's, it's not typically that expensive, right. no. Yeah. So, Typically, we expect, you know, spend about $2,500 on one that gets some reasonable light in the space. I mean, we've installed systems that have over 100 lights in them, and, of course, they're paying a lot for that. Right. But, you know, usually $2,500, and then it can kind of go up to, like, five grand for a really nice one. Um, but that's usually a comfortable range. But if you're doing something special in your backyard and you're, gonna, you're going for that wow factor, something you're going to enjoy on a daily basis, a yep. regular basis, you want to... You want some lighting. You so do. You can enjoy it at night. I mean, That's it's right. kind of, it's sort of like, one of, it's, you sort of have to do well, it. And it makes it feel cozy. It kind of like right. is inviting you into warm. the space. That's right. But they're not warm. They're not warm. <laughs> they don't produce anything. That's, where the, fi that's where the fire pit comes <laughs> that's right. in, right? Okay, um, so uh, tell us how these can enhance that, that outdoor space, how outdoor lighting can. Because yeah. we've, got some, we've got some pictures for you. It's always is amazing that's right. work there. Yeah, so you'll see a fire pit, you'll yeah. see, you know, some water features. Um, you know, they have this warmth that goes beyond the actual space and kind of, I call it like metaphysical, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So the metaphysical warmth of a space, uh, you know, is kind of what draws you to the space at the end of the day with a glass well, of wine. There's, there's a light right in the fort pass to mark yeah. the path and then under the seat, you've yeah. got some lights under the seat, which is kind of neat. That's right. Yeah, under yeah. mount. That's, you can yeah. put them just about anywhere. You can, yeah. A lot of times they're built into the hardscape. You know, like a fire pit here, but what you don't see is in that fire pit and in the walls, there's actually lighting inside of those. Um, um, so it, it really makes the space Do cool. you do any solar? I mean, I guess you can, but I mean. We don't. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah you wouldn't. You just want to make it just on. Yeah, and, and you know, when it's darker uh, this earlier in the year, the solar doesn't get charged up enough. And so right. a lot of times you'll see right. people have, you know, 15 of them lighting their walkway where you really only need like three Right, and it just Low jumps. voltage, yeah, exactly, and that's enough light to get along the walkway. Yeah, 15 is just too much. Yeah. It takes away from the, the, the work. It does. Okay, so I see there's one light right there. Not that much, just enough. That's right. Just enough light to, to like, lead the way because your eyes want to go to a certain spot. That's right. You want the light up on the trees. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Kind of creating, you know, we create shadows intentionally with our lighting, so we'll create like negative spaces. So sometimes the light is actually dark in certain areas so that you kind of have a path of where you're supposed to go and, and it kind of leads you along. Well, like I said, Micah, this has been enlightening to say the <laughs> least. I love it. Look, you can see the lights. It works in the, in the evening, in the dusk. That's Look right. at them. They're everywhere. Uh, thank you so much for joining us once again. Love the work that you do. Excited about it when you come on the show.